Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, my names are uh, Pastor Patrick. I'm born again. Christ is Lord in my life. I was as we pray so that we may have uh, uh, to we have to hear the word of the Lord this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise thy name. Thank you, Father, because of thy power. Thank you, Jesus, because of this morning. Father, as we hear thy word, we pray that thy word have a, to, to have an impact in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, as I have said that my name is Patrick, uh, I'm born again, I preach with the uh, Encounter Victory Church in Kenya and I bless the name of the Lord uh, because of his power and his mercies in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning I want us to share the word of God uh, and my theme uh, this morning is uh, our victory in the battlefield, our victory in the battlefield. Uh, every time in this life, or, or each and every one of us, uh, there is a war that each and every one is embarking on. Kuna vita ya kila mtu, kuna vita ambao tunapigana uh, kila mtu katika maisha yake. Uh, na maadiko inasema kwamba uh, katika um, uh, in the book of uh, Rook chapter 14, uh, uh, verse 31, the Bible says, let me lead, uh, the Bible says, uh, but when you give a feast, oh sorry, uh, that is a uh, rook for the 14, uh, that one, that one, that one, the Bible says, or what king going to the war against another king does not sit down first and consider whether he is able with the 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with the 20,000 or else while the other is still a great way off, he sent a delegation and asked uh, conditions of peace. In every battlefield, you should be in a position uh, to know what your enemy or whom you are fighting with, uh, which kind of uh, or how kind or what kind of uh, tools are they using. Ni lazima ujue ni sila zainagani ambao anatumia ama ni watu wangapi ama ni nguvu za aina gani ambazo uh, ako nazo ili wakati unaingia katika vita ukajiadai vizuri kwa sababu uh, ni wengi ambao wameingia katika vita wakashidwa how can we acquire, uh, have victory in our battlefield unless we know wale wapizani wetu katika vita za kiroho wanapigana vita za aina gani ama wanatumia silaha gani there is the name of Jesus. In every battlefield, that is where the kingdom arises and where others falls. Ni azima katika hali ya vita, katika waja wa vita. Ni azima kue na wale ambao wanainuka, na wale ambao wanashidwa. Ni azima wafarme wegine waweko chini, na wegine wainuliwe. Kwa sababu, katika hali ya kujiada, kila mtu wanakuanga amejiada kwa jiadani. It determines the victory. Praise the name of Jesus. That if you are to raise a vizuri, come on, enda katika vita, vita za rohoni, vita ambazo unatamani kupiga na ushide. Ni lazima ujiulize, mpizani wangu akona nini. Katika maisha ambao tunaishi, vita ni nyingi katika maisha haya. Vita ni nyingi katika familia. Vita ni nyingi katika hali ya maisha. In economy wise, vita ni nyingi. Lakini we mwenyewe umejiada kwa jiadani. Ili kaingia katika vita ukashinde. Bwana Yesu asifuwe sana. For the weapon of warfare is no kano. Diyo madiko inasema. Kwa maana vita vietu ziza umili. Vita vietu ni za roho. Vita vietu, vietu zinaigia katika anga. Anga ya rohoni. Ili weze kupigana vita ushinde. Ni lazima ujieleze. Ama ujipange vizuri. Ili ujue ni kinge katika ile vita. Ni tashida aje. Ni kinge katika ile vita. Ni teenda uh, kuangamia ama ni naenda kushida. In every battlefield, there are those who go there and they never come back. Because uh, maybe they suffer casualty. Praise the name of Jesus. In every uh, battlefield, there are those who uh, suffer. There are those who come out of that place a victorious in a victorious way. Praise the name of Jesus. But see Missouri, preparation is vital. In every battle, preparation is, uh, preparation is very vital. Because many people just engage in warfare without preparation. Praise the name of Jesus. As a Christian, what should you do? As a Christian, how do you go wage the war? Or how can you wage the war in the light way, in the light manner? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
The Bible says uh, in the book of Matthew chapter uh, 11 verse 12, the kingdom of heaven suffered the fire and the fire uh, shall take it by force. In every battle it is fire Nothing that comes just come. No, it is you wage war to fight it. You wage war until you win something. It, the kingdom, this is the kingdom. The things of the kingdom is not uh, uh, the physical things. It is a spiritual. Praise the name of Jesus. And one has to prepare for this. Because when you fail to prepare, you suffer the casualty. The Bible says uh, when uh, Saul uh, engaged the David in the battlefield, the Bible says that uh, uh, David was prepared for it. So when uh, Saul was losing, uh, David was winning. Wakati alikuwa na anaisha, Daudi nani kuinuka alikuwa anainuka. Kwa maana yeye Daudi alikuwa amejiada katika vita. Si kumaanisha Sauli yako amejiada, lakini katika hali ya kujiada, ni lazima ujuane na Mungu wako vizuri. So you cannot wage war unless you know who is your God. Because if God is on our side, the Bible says, who can be against us? If God is us, if God is fighting with us, Praise the name of Jesus. I have never seen anyone goes to the war uh, with the God or uh, war in a company of God and then he loses. No way. Because the battle does not belong to us. The battle belongs to God. I don't know what you are passing through this morning. I don't know which kind of war uh, you are engaging. Uh, and, but what matters uh, uh, in our lives is, is, God with, is, is, God with, is God with you? Because if you go with God, praise the name of Jesus, he is the master planner of every war. He is the one who stands with us to fight with us and give us victory. Praise the name of Jesus. So when David engaged uh, uh, in his war together with God, the Bible says, and he came and, uh, and uh, Saul was losing when David was gaining power each and every time. Praise the name of Jesus. Ukienda na Mungu kila wakati utakuwa unaingia katika ushidi. Ukienda na Mungu hata kama vita inakaa inaka gumu kiasi gani, ni lazima uweze kwa sababu si wewe ni Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Si wewe. Wakati unasema uh, ni wewe utaenda kushindwa. When you go by your own mind, when you go by your own understanding, praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says it is not by might, neither by strength, but the, uh, through the Holy Spirit. When you go with God, when you walk with him, there is victory. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So it is engagement. Preparedness matters a lot in every battlefield. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Let us read also in the book of uh, uh, Second Corinthian, Second Corinthian uh, chapter 10, verse uh, 3 and 6. Three, uh, from verse 3 to verse 6. The Bible says. Uh, that is Second Corinthians chapter in the fresh, we do not war against the fresh. For the weapon of warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God, for pulling down strongholds, casting arguments, and everything that against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedient of and punish all disobedience when uh, your obedience is fulfilled. Well, the, uh, for we, we don't wage war uh, in, uh, in a carnal way. We wage war in a spiritual way. The Bible says that uh, for the weapon of warfare is not carnal. It is not carnal. We cannot wage war carnally. Because the Bible says carnal fails. But a spiritual, spiritual minds or spiritual actions wins. We cannot wage war carnally. Many are the people who wage war carnally. Wanaenda vita katika umwili. Wanaenda vita katika mawazo yao. Lakini mawazo ya mwanadamu ni punguvu. Hayuezi vita ya rohoni. Hayuezi. Yote ambaya naenda vita katika uh, maisha, katika hali ya umwili, ni lazima ashidwe. Lakini yule ambaye anaenda vita katika hali ya rohoni anaweza. Madio inasema kwa maana vita vyetu si za umwili bali ni za rohoni ambazo zimeundwa kutoka biguni. Uh, uh, wakati zile uh, silaha ambazo tunatumia tunasitumia kwa ajili ya inafaa. 
kwa sababu unaweza sema hapana huwa ninaomba but do you pray right hapana huwa ninasoma neno lakini lile neno linakusaidiaje kwa sababu uh, unaweza kuwa tu unalisoma lakini halileti ha, kile ambacho tunasema uh, the power to give you uh, 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 the grace to fight the warfare praise the name of jesus our weapon of uh, the, for the weapon of warfare are not carnal but mighty through god so we have to engage god in whatever we are doing if you want to win we have to engage god in every aspect of our life so that uh, uh, where there is god there is victory wakati unaunganisha mungu na hali yako wakati unaunganisha mungu na mambo yako wakati unaunganisha mungu na kile ambacho unatarajia ni lazima kuwe na ushidi bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa maana uh, yesu kristo hali yake ya kufa alikufa ili atuletee uwezo uwezo mwanadamu ni mudhaifu bila Mungu mwanadamu hawezi bila Mungu kwa hivyo wakati Yesu alikufa badiliko inasema for this reason the son of god was manifested to destroy the powers of darkness to destroy the kingdom of enemy kwa hivyo wakati unaingia pamoja na Mungu katika vita ni lazima adui ashidwe praise the name of jesus christ we preach is not the baby in the manger or in, on the cross no it is power of glorification ile uwezo aliopata baada ya kufa na kufufuka praise the name of jesus he is the one who is risen and exalted and is seated at the right hand of god praise the name of jesus that is where we focus that is where we depend on praise the name of jesus wengine wamekibiria mambo mengine ambao haiwezi wasaidia wengine wamekibiria mawazo yao wengine wamekibiria sijui careers no unless the, the lord build the house he whoever do it do it in faith and whoever maybe unless the lord watches over the city those do it who do it they just do it in vain praise the name of jesus engage god engage the the, the weapon of warfare that is mighty the tools that has made from heaven the the, the, the supply the grace supply from heaven praise the name of jesus wakati unafanya vile hata yale mambo ambayo inakanga gumu sana kwa mwanadamu si gumu tena katika maisha yako Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above even what we think and even what we pray. Praise the name of Jesus. If we depend fully on him, we shall come out in a victorious way because he is God. Praise the name of Jesus. If we look on uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, for the uh, for the we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against the principality Papas. praise the name of Jesus prosperity kwa maana vita vyetu hatupigani katika mwili na damu lakini tunapigana na maro na maufarume bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa hivyo katika hali ya kupigana na zile gome gome inaweza kuwa ni gome za kijamii inaweza kuwa ni gome za territory mahali unakaa inaweza kuwa ni gome ya maisha mambo ambayo inakaanga ni ngumu sana kuyagusha Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wakati mwingine kila uh, unapata mtu anajiuliza, "Ok, kila wakati nikiingia katika vita, huwa ninashidwa. Huwa ninashidiwa wapi?" Haleluya. Ni lazima uelewe ni aina gani ya ya gome ambazo unapigana nazo. Maandiko inasema kwamba for the way we wait we to not against the flesh and blood, it, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in high places so ni vitu ambazo ni zito kupigana nazo haleluya kwa hivyo wakati tunaingia katika ile vita ni lazima tujielewe vizuri na ni lazima tuelewe ni nini tunapigana nazo kwa sababu ni wengi ambao wameangamia katika vita ni wengi kwa sababu when you, uh, you encounter or you fight against a prosperity a prosperity is a well structured kingdom of darkness a prosperity ni kitu ambao kinakuelewa kinaelewa uzazi wako kwa kizazi chako kinaelewa watoto kinaelewa umetoka wapi na unaelekea wapi so it is in position to stand and fight you it is in a position to take advantage of every weakness ambayo inaweza onekana katika maisha yako haleluya so it is very important vile unaingia katika vita determine vile katika ile vita bwana yesu asifiwe sana vile unaingia katika hali ya kupigana it will determine vile unatoka katika hali ya ile vita praise the name of jesus haleluya kwa sababu 
kama ni gome tunapigana nazo ni wengi ambao wameumia na wamekufia wame katika zile vita kwa sababu unless you understand wale wanajeshi wakienda katika vita fanya kitu inaitangwa uh, physical safi hawezi igia tu kuigia lakini anasema okay ninataka niingie kwa maombi niombe kinyume cha kitu niombe kinyume cha sababu fulani lakini utajiuliza na ilianza wapi kwa sababu kila kitu ni lazima kiwe na mwanzo ili ukielewa ilianza wapi utajua ya wapi praise the name of jesus hallelujah the purpose most of the time we think that jesus just came to uh, to give us salvation only ha, no way jesus christ did not just die to redeem only your soul but rather to redeem everything everything hata kile ambacho kimekusuguka everything we have uh, uh, reduced the gospel of the kingdom uh, to the gospel of salvation only we must preach the whole gospel to the whole people or to the whole person in the whole world in our lives in our families in our work that include our finances careers profession skills health nikitu about everything is covered in our redemption we, it is not just soul no. it is everything the whole person the whole world it is under the grace of redemption bwana yesu asifiwe sana how do you come out of that How do you come out of the battlefield knowing that the things that uh, kid umeendea ni lazima uhakishe umetoka nazo nacho hakuna anaingiaga katika vita bila kujiada baadhi wanasema kwamba huwezi ingia kwa nyumba ya mtu shujaa kwa vitu zake kabla hujamfunga skills praise the name of jesus huwezi kwa sababu yurusafa katika maisha haya ambao tunatamani ushidi katika as we complete this year because it is almost ni mambo mengi ambayo tulikuwa tunatamania tukianza mwaka ni mambo mengi ambayo tulikuwa tunatamania itafanyika kambra mwaka uishe it is now almost sijui kama umeipata bwana yesu asifiwe sana inamaanisha maybe the way you engaged in warfare could be it had a problem this time round It is not too late also because the last minute can save your life the last minute can save your children the last minute can save your career bwana yesu asifiwe sana prepare for be focused ninataka kambro mwaka uishe kile ambacho nilitamani katika maisha haa nipate kile ambacho nina haja nacho ni lazima nikipate mwaka huu bwana yesu asifiwe sana haleluya kwa maana wakati Daudi alikuwa anaingia katika vita hakuwa anaingia katika vita akiwa hajajielewa hapana baadhi unasema wakati alikuwa anapigana na Goliath alielewa Goliath ni nani na diposa wakati alienda pale kwa Sauli akaulizwa okay ni nini unaweza kutueleza tuelewe unaweza unaezana na vita alisema the past experiences alisema nikapigana na dupa nikashinda nikapigana na, na simba nika, nikashinda na wakati nilikuwa napigana nazo Uh, the, the ships never suffered nilikuwa naenda na nyang'anya kambla niwe nilikuwa naenda na nyang'anya ule mwana kodo kambla niwe dupa ama niwe uh, uh, simba so he knew what he was doing he understood the concept of everything kwa hiyo wakati alikuwa na face godiet because most of us are facing some issues that are very big even when we think about it wale wengine walikuwa wanakibia wakiona gori ndio wanakibia but to their surprise david wakati walionana na goliath alimwambia nakuja kwako kwa jina la Mungu nakuja kwa usondi na unakuja kwa mkuki mimi naja kwako kupitia neno la Jehovah Mungu bwana Yesu asifiwe sana alijipanga vizuri alijua ile vita akienda kwa mwili na kwa uwezo wa hataweza bwana Yesu asifiwe sana wakati mwingi tunatamani uh, tusaidiwe na watu lakini hatutamani kusaidiwa na Mungu. Tunaona watu ni kama ndio wamekukaribia wametukaribia. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And because of the encounter they had with God, they gave God different names. Kasema he is my Jehovah Nisi. He is my Jehovah Rafa. Praise the name of Jesus. Because of the encounter, kile ambacho walimuona, walimuona akifanya nini? Wewe umemwona Mungu akifanya nini katika maisha yako? 
Ama tu ni, you just keep on complaining, complaining. Haja nifanya hi, haja nifanya hi. That is a tool of the enemy. Because that do that te tactics, abaso shetani ya natumianga. One is complaining. You keep on complaining. Nothing good in your life. You don't see the grace of God in any way in your life. My friend, that is a failure. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, those who know their God, know their God. Juana na mungu wako vizuri. Juana na yeye vizuri. Ilu kaseme kwamba, ni kweli ni memuona mungu. Daniele kasema, wale wabawa na juana na mungu wao vizuri. Watateda maku. Siko uwezo wao, bali ni kwa uwezo wa mungu. Siko wa guvu zao, bali ni kwa guvu za mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They shall do exploit. Wata inua mabamekine mazuri. Wata kuja na ideas. Praise the name of Jesus. When you engage uh, in warfare. Right away. Even the ideas. You get ideas. Abazo mpaka watu watasama. Ah, na umu mtu ametua hii idea wapi. Praise the name of Jesus. Why? Because it is not you. It is Christ who dwells in you. Praise the name of Jesus. He is able to do it. He, because he is not a man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So we are saying that uh, the Christ that we preach is not just a baby in the manger or on the cross. But it is glorification of Christ who has risen, exalted, and seated at the light heart of, of majesty of high. Praise the name of Jesus. If you know him, hallelujah. If you know him, you never talk of any impossibility. He is God of impossibility. He can do it. Alimwabia Sarah. Wakati mwingine kama huu. Wakati mwingine kama huu. Mpaka ye mwenye kwa mawaza yake. Haka sema, ah, na hiyo meka yote ni megoja. Meule wakati wote nilikuwa na wakuza na kulea watoto. Saa hii wakati ni komze. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Abraham never staggered in faith. He was true with himself. And he was true to the promise. Ambao mungu alikuwa mempatia. Kwa hivyo wakati Sarah alikuwa nasema, ah, nikiwa mzee hivi. Ule, ule, wale maraika wakamwambia pana wakati mwingine kama huu umepigana vita umeshinda hata yeye mwenyewe hakuelewa kwamba ameshashinda kama wakati mwingine kama huu they waited patiently they waited patiently they knew that he who promised him is faithful he cannot fail them the bible says he never staggered in faith he never staggered sometimes tunagojiaga mpaka unaanza kustaga katika maisha na kusema ah Sinijaribu mungaga fulani. Ah, sinijaribu siju wapi. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakati unatoka katika presence ya mungu. Gainaleto. Buwana Yesu asipwe sana. Kwa hivyo, you, uh, you fail. You fail because you at the last minute. When uh, the time uh, for your blessings uh, is due. Divyo unaodokea. Kwa hivyo, wakati unaodokea. Baraka inakuja inakupata. You, you have already uh, gone out of the presence of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Nigetamani tuwe na roho kama yenye ilikuwa na, na hana. Ata kama alivyakiwa. Haku odoka beleza mungu. Alikaa pale. Alisema natoka in my battlefield. Nikuwa na victory. Bwana Yesu asifuwe sana. Ata wakati kuhani mwenyewe. Wale watu ambao we trust so much. Alikuja ni kama na mulibiuko. Ha. Alisema ni vila ujui. Ni nini ni mekujia beleza mungu. Bwana Yesu asifuwe sana. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo bada ya kutu. Andiko inasema, akakutana na baraka yake. That was the point ambayo yake miss. Kwa megoje, ili yake yake yote. Kuna mtu ambayo ya naondoka tu kido, baraka yake inafika. Inamanisha nini? Aligia kwa vita, lakini ya kueza. Aligia kwa vita, lakini ya kashidwa. My prayer, my listeners, it is my prayer, humble prayer. Hallelujah. That you come out of your battlefield with blessings you come out of your battlefield with the victory doesn't matter hata kama ni magonjwa badiko inasema kwamba kwa mapigo ya Yesu tulipata uponyaji hata kama ni gani there is a name that is above any other name the name of Jesus it is above any other name praise the name of Jesus so when you focus useme kwamba ni kweli ninajua usito wa um, ya, 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 ya magonjo haya ninajua ukali wake lakini aliye ndani yetu ndio maandiko inasema aliye ndani yetu ni mkuu haleluya aliye ndani yetu ni mkuu kuliko aliye duniani hiyo ni ya dunia unless uko duniani otoka basi duniani upate ushidi otoka duniani upate kile Mungu amekuahidia praise the name of Jesus kimawazo haleluya the spirit that is in us it's not a spirit of fear. We cannot fear. We cannot. Praise the name of Jesus. The cost of the cross is not in vain. No way. 
and it will never. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. When you know how to go about it, you shall win it. Akatoka pale akijua kwamba aliambiwa kile ambacho umekuwa ukiomba mbele za Mungu enda ukakipate. In the name of Jesus. That is the victory. That is the victory that we have in God. Hallelujah. So be strong. Be strong and courageous despite the waves of this life. Be strong and courageous. Hallelujah. It is not over until God says it is over. It is not. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I know the economy is tough. I know there is a lot of hardships. Praise the name of Jesus. People are under stress. They don't know what to do. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, in the midst of everything, God is there. In the midst of our storms, God is there. In the midst of our challenges, God is still there. Hold on. He has not failed and you'll never fail. Praise the name of Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. We glorify the name of the Lord. And Amen. For that word. Amen. Despite the situation, oh, yeah. we be strong in the Lord. Oh, yes. The Bible says that we be strong in the world. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord has conquered. Oh yes, so oh yes. We are delighted mm. and thanks for finding time for us. Amen. And even coming to share the word of God. Thank you. The word of God is powerful. Oh yeah. It's equal to God Himself. Oh yes. And we thank the Lord who always gives us an opportunity to listen to Him. Oh yes. How wonderful it is to listen to the word yeah. of God. Oh yeah. You know, we listen to stories, we listen uh -huh. to so many things. Uh -huh. But one moment listening to the word of God oh, yes. puts all the difference. Oh yes. So we thank you, Pastor Patrick. Thank you. And even when we call you next time, oh, yes. we see that you still come. Oh so yeah. So that you mm. can come sure. and share the good news of the oh. name of the Lord. Oh yes. The Bible mm. does not contradict itself. Sure, it's sure. the true word of God. Mm. And when we turn to the word of God, oh, yes. we have all the answers to our problems. Oh yes. So we thank the Lord for oh, yeah. giving us an opportunity to listen to what he wants us to hear. Sure. That is everything. Actually, sure. that is all we need in this life. Mm. Even Jesus himself said that a man cannot live with bread alone, oh, yeah. but with every word that comes from the mouth of sure. God. Sure. So every word that is spoken by God himself mm. is God himself. Oh yeah. And we are thankful and we ask you to pray for us. So that oh yes. Okay, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we exalt your holy name. We know that you are our God. You fail every not. When we wait upon you, we shall be, we shall never be disappointed. The Bible says, you are our God and our Savior and our Redeemer. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Let thy word has an impact in us. Let this word transform us in the midst of our storms, in the midst of our challenges. Father, we look unto you, the author and finisher of our faith. We bless you and we exhort you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you too for coming. Thank you. And we appreciate your coming. Thank you. We are going to take a short break. The next moment you're going to have a testimony hour. The hour we listen to what God has done to his people. So we are going to take a short break as we listen to the word song that says ancient words. Stay tuned. God bless you. Amen.